Hi guys, it's Renee here, another episode of Tea and Trapeze. Today I have Thumper with me. And I just wanted to kind of chat about how important it is to have like positive energy around you. I notice with me, I'm an empath. So when I have negative energy around me, I like literally take it in. Um, there's been times with some friends, like if they are going through a lot, um, I would just tell them like, I can't hear it. I, I can't have this conversation with you because I'm going to take in that energy. And I, I, like unconsciously, I kind of focus on the energy and I'm like, no, life is too good, too wonderful. Like I don't want to take that in. And I don't do it in a sense to be selfish, but in a sense of I know how I am. And taking, you know, in a lot of energy from different people is going to cause me to be like freaking crazy. So I know myself enough and I'm like, I'm sorry, I love you. We just can't talk about this or we can talk about it later. There's been several times where I did that. I'm like, oh, because I'm going through something myself. I'm like, oh, no, not right now, guys. Not right now. So um, I feel like I don't know if it's just um, maybe in my head or thinking things or uh, there's a lot of pressure of certain different things and it's like oh my god uh, do I feel like I'm not growing or do I feel as if I'm not doing anything new or I'm doing too much um, I met with a lawyer on Friday and he mentioned he goes you're at a really great point because you have so much opportunity that you can do everything with it or you have so much opportunity that you don't know where to begin and literally that's that's how I feel and I don't want to say I've been keeping bad energy around me. I just haven't had enough of good energy around me, I feel like. Um, I don't know. So that's why I have the bun with me to really kind of give me like an extra push of energy. Because, you know, petting an animal is like stress relieving. And I don't know. He's just so sweet. And then actually, I don't know if you guys know, um, but I had a second rabbit and he passed away a few days after I came home from Hungary. And I don't know if it was a lack of me taking him out of the cage, a lack of me being here or something, or just the anxiety of being in the cage for so long. But um, he actually passed away like literally two days after me being home. Uh, so that was a huge bummer. And now it's just Thumper and I, and then my roommate here, and she like works a ton. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to like kind of have him with me because it does help, you know, petting an animal with like stressors or, you know, I do have a lot going on. I have like mobile things going on. I have website things going on, PayPal things going on, classes going on, two studios going on. So, ah, it's a lot for one person. Like I literally feel as if like I just want to like take a minute because there's so much going on and I'm grateful for it and I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled. I'm at a point in my life where I have so much opportunity, but it's overwhelming it's overwhelming that is exactly the word and not that overwhelming is a bad thing but oh you gotta stay grounded and it's it's harder for me to get to classes because i teach when most classes are so but yeah crossfit tonight so that's definitely gonna help me and i missed crossfit last week but um yeah i gotta be around my friends a little bit more um yeah because it's hard it's hard like just being like I feel like I'm like Kanye West or something, like when he first came out with his backpack, like, was it like the college dropout or whatever the name of his album was? But I'm literally always with my backpack, I'm always with my laptop, uh, learning things with a computer because I'm not very technologically inclined. So I'm literally learning as I go about working with new business owners, about working with a computer, about working with Premiere Pro. Like this is the only thing I know is my rabbit. <laughs> this is the only thing I know. So. Mm. That chunky. <laughs> Cute. You know, so it's like, oh, I have to be conscious of the energy that I keep around me um, and continue to honor myself. Like, hey man, I understand you're going through something, but I can't hear it right now. Because I literally feel like when I have that conversation, and even though I, I, I know I shouldn't have a conversation, I'm like, okay, I know they need the release. So let me have, let me allow them to release it on me. And it gets me like this. Oh my god, oh, I can't do it. Why do I do it to myself? So, yeah, I just have to stay grounded. Um, yeah, but it is, besides me being in my head and overwhelmed, there's so much opportunity coming. Things are really good. Like, things are really good. The things I think about are coming to happen. And I'm very blessed because today um, I've been kind of pondering this thought with one of my clients. And I didn't want to say anything because I don't want to be too forward, but um, about potentially 
turning her house into a retreat center or just kind of making that happen. And she came in today and she was like, Renee, I want to talk to you. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Let's have this conversation because I knew exactly where the conversation was going to go. Um, you ever meet someone and, um, you know, you see them on a regular basis. <laughs> He's looking right at the camera. And uh, you just kind of know each other's energy and just, just kind of know. So when she was like, hey, I want to talk to you. And I was like, I just knew where the conversation was going. So I'm very grateful for that. And I don't ever like to kind of release the details like, hey guys, we're going to, hmm, we're going to do this, we're going to, hmm, 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 and this is going to be included. I don't want to do that because I don't, ah, oh, it sucks. Like for, for the balance of brunch, you put out all the details, you put out everything, and then it's canceled. So I just want to not get my hopes up. Because God, if I tell you guys all about this and what's gonna happen, it's different from Brazil. But if I tell you guys all about this, I'm gonna like tear myself to shreds if it doesn't happen. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and not get you guys all souped up. But if you're interested, let me have your email and say, Renee, specifically, my email is for the retreats, not for classes or whatever, or it's for the classes, not for the retreats. Sorry, I'm in the way, I know. You have to get your shine, I know. <laughs> But super fun. This past weekend, we were in Brooklyn at um, oh, he's so cute. At the Midnight Market. It was our first time in Brooklyn. Super fun. Met people from all over the world. I had a gentleman that was from Israel. He got on the trapeze. He's never done anything like it. And he absolutely loved it. Like, he didn't even want to get off. Um, there's more here. Um, he absolutely loved it. Didn't even want to get off the trapeze. I met a group of girls from London and I'm like, why are you here in the States? Like, UK is so much better. Go back. And they're like, you know, it's kind of like the thing where girls have curly hair and they want straight hair. And the girls have straight hair and want curly hair. And I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. You know, because the grass always looks greener on the other side, I suppose. But, you know, it's just awesome to connect with people. And everyone loves the trapeze. Andy came with. And, uh, yeah. And speaking of Andy, what do you want? There's still greens in there. Where you going? There's, there was more. I should eat them all. I'm going to cover you. <laughs> um, and then speaking of which, I have a podcast. Oh my God, I can't believe I have a freaking podcast. Never thought I would have a podcast. Um, so the gentleman that I've been working with, we've been chatting about doing this thing, that project that I'm working on. I'm not really telling anyone about it, but um, you guys will definitely know when it's out and ready and launched and released. But uh, he mentioned to me, he's like, you know, you're going to do a podcast. And I'm like, okay. Like I had n absolutely no desire to do a podcast. I always um, had podcast ideas and I would say one of my girlfriends, she always talked about doing podcasts. I'm like, hey, you have to do this. Hey, this is an idea. Hey, absolutely had no desire myself to do a podcast. So when we were chatting about establishing podcasts, I'm like, oh, we can call it, you know, this will be the name. Um, it was going to be originally called Health on a Shelf because I have a lot of random fun facts about the health industry and about how to um, balance your pH level, what to eat, blah, 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 and some knowledge of like vegan recipes, barely any, but like I know what I like, you know, but I feel like I have a lot of fun health information in my head that like if I start talking to people about it, I'm like, Renee, shut up. Like, I don't want to hear this. So I was like, okay, we can make the podcast about my fun health facts. And then, so we were supposed to release it that Saturday, the 10th, that Tuesday prior, it was like three o'clock in the morning. And I'm, you know, I was creating more podcasts, sending them to my guy. And I was like, I was really getting into it. I'm interviewing my clients. I'm interviewing business owners. I'm talking about things that matter to me. And I'm like, oh. I want this to be something more substantial, something more meaningful to me. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, that Tuesday, I changed the name. I bought a new domain name. That's when I came up with Renee Roams Radio. Because it's literally me. Like, I'm roaming everywhere. Like, even when I'm in Jersey, I'm roaming everywhere for teaching and all over the place. Um, what? But I'm roaming. I'm roaming the country. And there's I connect with people all day long, all over the world, whether it's in my class or whether I'm while I'm traveling. So I think it's important to share that with you guys so that's where the name came from the new website came from and a couple other things so that's why it was initially supposed to be released on saturday we had to push it back till monday because my brain was like ah i finally want to put my all into it and really care about it so yeah so my heart is totally in it and then today we released our fourth episode <laughs> and that's me interviewing andy and just basically like how you guys have to listen to it but andy is amazing and you really will get a glimpse of her light in the podcast episode uh, i definitely want to have her on more because she's just very moving her story um she just she has a thing for people and she can she knows how to light you up and 
push you forward and just make it very simple. It's like simplicity, you know, and then you listen and you're like, damn, you're right. So yeah, please listen to the podcast. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment or, or a review or even shoot me a message and be like, Renee, you suck, whatever. Or Renee, you freaking rock. Like, cause I could obviously use that energy because I'm here like squeezing my bunny on the camera. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll get you more greens. And his name's Thumper. And sometimes it changes, it depends on the day, because I get bored of his name. But yeah, thank you guys so very much for being part of the journey. Uh, I've cried like crazy probably for the past two weeks because I've just been in my head too much. So guys, if you're in your head, please do yourself the favor, do me the favor, get out of your head, like you don't need to be there. Um, and if you're in your head a little bit too much and you need some help, give me a call. You can totally come over and pet Thumper and like, Borrow him if you want to. Just make sure you feed him. He likes kale. He loves bananas. What else do you like? Don't jump off the table. And he loves blueberries. Oh my god, he loves blueberries. Yeah. He doesn't even chew them. They just go right in his mouth. <laughs> oh, I gotta get blueberries. Bye, guys. Until next time. Peace, love. Cha, peace. Mwah.